In this video, we're going to focus on the array shift method. And with the array shift method in JavaScript, you are able to remove at the very beginning an array value. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to remove a value at the very beginning. We already know how to add a value by using unshift. So the final one would be removing a value at the very beginning, which is shift. So let's start and apply that one and see how that works. So basically exactly the same, you get the label, so you get the array name, whatever the array value is, and then you would say here unshift, and here you don't have to specify anything. The reason why is you're removing a value, you're not adding a specific value to the array. So we say here labels unshift, and if we do this, save that, refresh, we can see here, uh, let me double check, labels unshift, it, we're going to remove the, oh, sorry, of course, not on shift. It is shift. If I save that, refresh, oh, click that, refresh. And now you can see the label has been shifted or basically moved to the left. The red color is still visible, but the red label is gone. It's now blue and you can see everything has been matched here. So if we do an unshift again, and then there we are. So if you want to match them all together, of course, how can you do it? Exactly the same way you did before this shift and then your background color dot shift and we have the border color dot shift do this there you are and then we can unshift add values etc etc so let's for fun let's copy this and let's put it in here while we have an unshift value so what we could do for example if we want to push a value we also want to unshift a specific value meaning we're going to remove specific value at the very beginning while we push one at the very end so if we save this now and refresh nothing happens until we press push here as you can see we get the black value but the red value has been removed and then we do that again and there we are so this is basically how we can play around with that with those options so let me put this in a separate one using exactly the same methodology as we used before, function, and then we say here, shift value, and we put it in here, all right. And then of course, we need to make sure there's an update, my chart update, we wanna update the chart after pressing the shift. So we can do here, we can just copy this, enter, paste, shift value and then we say shift and this would be at the deducted of removing it at the very beginning there we are so now we have the entire collection of course this here right now what you've seen is truly the basics there's so much more and that's in the next video we start to go more deeper in Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.